guys welcome back to my channel so guess what this is going to be the updated version for the human and social biology video that is on my channel right so now this video in the top corner right here was how to get um, a grade one in your human and social biology exam for CSEC but that video is a bit outdated in the sense that in that video um i said something about broad topics now for that year cxc had given broad topics right so it was just for that year now right now for 2024 there is no news or anything like that of cxc giving any broad topics right so in a sense that video is outdated right so now the broad topic cxc won't give you any of that so it means that you'll have to study the entire syllabus in order to pass now, how to get the grade one in human and social biology in terms of the exam um, aspect which is what I'll be speaking most about in this video because when I did um, human and social biology at the time that was actually the last year that they did not use a SBA so for those of you who did not know human and social biology used to be a science subject that did not have an SBA component so it meant that your grade came 100% from the exam that you sat. Cool? But guess what? So now, them have a SBA, right? Now, I don't know much about that SBA component because I never did it. But I know about the exam because the exam has basically stayed the same. Now, regarding your passing and getting a grade 1 in CSEC Human and Social Biology, you need to do past papers literally for that paper one you need to do past papers so some of this is just um reiterating what's in that other video but at the same time in this video i just want to remove the outdated information right so in order to pass the paper one component um you need to do your past papers right so now the past papers, you know, your multiple choice, you do as many as you can, from as many years as you can, you just do what you can, you get me answer? Yes, so literally because the questions will, and most times they do repeat. So if you can do a good amount of past paper questions, like all 2013 comes straight, straight, straight up, each year that you do, you'll realize that some of the questions are repeated. So in order to enhance your chances, it's best to do as many past papers as possible. No, when I did um, CSEC Human and Social Biology, I was in grade 11 at that time, right? But I did CSEC Human and Social Biology externally, meaning that um, I was doing how many subjects? I did what? Eight. I did eight subjects, and then Human and Social Biology would be nine because I had, I had already done um, two subjects, well, three subjects from grade 10, but I did maths again, which who know, knows that already, but yeah, in grade 10, I did maths, got a grade 3, in grade 11, I did maths again, got a grade 2, so that's why I did maths twice, but either way, so in grade 11, I did 9 subjects, so that was the year that I did over CSET maths, right, so it was basically 2 subjects, my English and social studies from grade 10 plus this 9, so I did human and social biology, no, I was a science student, so I did all three sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, and they murdered me. They murdered me, basically. But, yes, yeah, so, um, I signed up with this institution outside of my school to do that subject externally within the same year. So, for human and social biology, I at, that, I, at that time, did not really study, study, study like that, right? Because... Everybody at the time before I did the exam say, you know, say HSB is a common sense subject. That is what they said. It's a common sense subject. If you know a little things, they can pass it. You get me as them? And so for me, I was not worried about human and social biology because guess what? I was doing general biology, right? But one difference I realized with general biology and human and social biology is that with general biology, we cannot focus more on the organisms and all that stuff. Which in HSB, we can uh, zoom in a bit more on food chains and just the human body, like the skeletal system and all of that. Now, in general biology, we do cover those things, but not as much emphasis is put on it like in human and social biology. So, that was the main difference. So, yeah. 
um there's a textbook i'm gonna tell you so this textbook good the collins human and social biology so now i had the um collins cancer c-set biology book we did have that book right but basically the hsbu collins and the c-set biology they basically have the same thing the only thing is that the hsb collins hsb book um is a bit more limited so some of the things that the collins c-set biology like the general biology book um will have more stuff than the hsb because general biology it has everything hsb is more geared to the human body so yes that's that but literally that book is them contest book you know don't play with them them contest book they could like even me never did have the chemistry one but the chemistry one is good so but me tell you those collins contest book them good so anyway i had this use general biology one and it was what i used to study for both the CSEC um, biology and the CSEC human and social biology. Now, as I said, I didn't really study for the HSB exam. I studied for my um, general biology exam and I, and I just pray that whatever come on the general biology, some will just come back on the HSB. So one of the instances was about the skin, which to me, HSB is not a hard subject and in a sense, it is a common sense subject. Like if you're aware of your surroundings and you know what one, you can pass HSB, right? You can pass HSB. But if you're not a saying, maybe for me, because I already did um general biology or whatever, but if you know that you're not really ready like that, you get me saying? And um you know you're not really you know so you know you're not ready and you know so you don't really have a science of background, then maybe if we can try if we Memorize couple term no diffusion mean no body food change them and them something they get me saying or especially um what them call it reproduction them love reproduction about the contraceptives and like literally those are the questions that they ask for the HSB exam they ask you about the giving birth process they ask you about contraceptives they ask you about those stuff now some of the things if you have common sense and you're aware in a real life you can answer those questions now. There is also the technical aspect, which if you really just never know, you just never know. So it would be good for study and learn some diagrams, right? For example, the skeletal body would be good for you. can say, oh, me know which bone this, me know which bone this. You get me saying, me know what the breast bone, me know what them function, right? And it would, and it would also be good to just know a bit about the excretory system or just have common sense. Because one question that um I've seen kind of come back on the HSV exam, the paper two, which is the same question, but them ask it a different way each year, right? Like it's a different scenario, but it's the same thing. But they love to ask you about diseases. Now, anybody, if you have like a common sense, you can match up that question. If them send on the question, um, something about insulin, um, the body feel, failing to produce its own insulin and da 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 da, and then the person lose weight and uh, you know, say diabetes, right? Just literally that's what I'm trying to say that some of the things are common sense so as long as you go into that exam and you do your past papers them you watch past paper videos for paper 2 and some channels that you can find them on are CXC biology it's bio aid CXC biology tutor and you have um, CXC biology TCP um, I no, 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 forget something but those are the two main ones that I use at the time so you can watch the paper two working out and everything. You can watch them. You can watch the paper one um, to see the answers because the questions will more than likely repeat. You can literally watch those. And yes, you can match up the exam just like that. So those, those um, as it relates to the paper one and, and as it relates to the paper two. And you just study. And if you have that Collins Concise book, just yeah, study your book. Go over a couple of terms and you're just walking at the exam and mash it up, right? No, this um video is geared more toward 2024 students since the other videos are a bit outdated, right? Because there's been no news about no broad topics being given or anything like that. So it means say you have a study the whole book. But don't worry, as long as you study, as long as you do your past papers, as long as you um what do you call it? Have a good SBA, which I don't know much about the SBA now. I don't, don't know much about the SBA component for HSB like that. So I'm going to speak on that. 
So this video is really great to talking about the exam, how to pass the exam component of it. So as long as you mash up your past papers, then you do that and you watch your videos, you watch your videos then on YouTube with it. I explain anything you don't really understand, you can just find a video and watch some watch a teacher explain it. I'm gonna put the links in the description so you can see. The teacher is them who help with biology, he's biology, he's a human and social biology on YouTube. And as long as you do that study and you're aware and have a little common sense, you will pass that exam. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's it for today's video. Bye, guys.